The idea of this video is to give you an understanding about uh, what tools you're going to use in KI and how you're going to find and create an account to use these tools. I'll sh give you a brief direction of what tools you have uh, access to using your uh, KI student account and how to set up the student account. So first, our one-stop shop is the Karolinska Institute website. In the top right-hand side corner, you can see the tab shortcuts. If you press shortcuts, you can see if you are a student and then come part of you selecting the new student. You'll be welcomed by a page which basically gives all the information related to your arrival to KI, your moving here, what other information you need, including the latest news and updates regarding the corona situation, information about the Swedish schools, the introduction day, how he's going to look, the COVID-19 special measures and the webinar. If you come to here, the information and services for your study section, go to e-services. And in e-services, there is, so here comes your student account, student email, and then ping pong, ladoc, which are very important. You can even get an Office 365 for student subscription. So you can download your Office 365 onto your laptop. Log in with the uh, KI email ID and have access to it for the whole time you're staying here. So Karolinska student account, this page will give you the direction on how to activate your student account. So if you click here, uh, you get an activation code from KI uh, through your email or you get through the post or a handout. Use it uh, and then you click here. So the activation code, here you can put your email or email uh, our KI ID, which was received, and a national registration number, which is the personal number here in Sweden. The activation code which you received, and then you go through the process, and then you get on to the next page. If you have any issues, you can contact the student ID section, student email. So here you can put your username, the password, and then you log in, and then you go into the student email. It will take you to your uh, Outlook profile where you can access all your student emails and information. Next important thing is ping pong. Ping pong is where all your courses are going to be listed. It is where you get access to all your course documents and information. You can message your uh, professors there. You get all the information about your uh, schedule, your classes, what courses are coming up. You get access to the courses only if you are registered in Ladoc. To manage your coursework in KI is through Ladoc and in ping pong. Ping pong is where your whole day-to-day -day classes, courses, and everything happen other than the physical classes. So if you have your online classes through Zoom, then you will get all the information regarding that in ping pong as well as in your personal email ID uh, or your KI email ID. And then through that, you can access your Zoom classes. But again, to submit your assignments, to access your examination and all the uh, PowerPoints and then the schedule, you have to do it through your ping pong. Next is Ladoc. So here, this is how Ladoc looks. To register for a course before your course actually begins, if your course begins on 1st September, just be in Ladoc at least one week before the registration will be open and you have to register. Then only you will be able to access the courses in ping pong. You get all your completed education certificates, your research certificate. In some of the places, they ask for your enrollment and whether you are registered for that particular course. Here in Sweden, especially for the housing, then you have to submit these certificates. So it's very important to know the usage of this particular website as well. So th these are good, this one, and you can find them in e-services. Here are the list of uh, videos coming up next in the series. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thank you.